Hey everyone, this is Dylan, and today I'm going to be doing a part two of the family video closing haul, I guess I could call it. So if you're unfamiliar with Family Video, it is a video rental store. I believe it's the last national video rental store that is still around. And it was definitely sad news when I heard that it was closing. It really started my love of movies and things like that. We became friends with the manager and she would, I would bring in lists of horror movies that I wanted to watch. She would look them up and I would just rent them and stuff like that. So it really means a lot to me, that store. In the past few years, we haven't rented movies from there because we don't really, I, I don't really need to rent movies that much because I own a ton. But I decided that I would go and see what they had for sale. And this is my second haul. I will put a little iCard up to the first one. And I bought a lot more this time because I had went in and I was just to kind of seeing what the prices were, and I had mentally checked off a couple things that I was like, oh, I might be interested in this at a later date. But I decided that I was like, maybe I should go. So I went the next day and picked up some more things. I was like, by the time that I get there, it might not be there, so I probably should pick it up now. So let's get into my haul. So the first one that I picked up is Hairspray Live. Uh, I mostly picked this one up because it came with the slip cover, which I think would be hard to find. I paid $4 for this, and it is going on Amazon for $8, so not like too big of a deal, but I'm happy that I was able to get it with the slip cover. So I got Hellraiser Deader, and this is one that I know is on Blu-ray, but the Blu-ray is out of print, the DVD is out of print, and it's going for like $44 on Amazon, so it's pretty, I got a pretty good deal on this. The next one is Ginger Snaps Back, the beginning. I have not seen this one in the Ginger Snaps series. I have seen the first two, really like those, so I'm excited to check this one out. And it goes on Amazon for about 10. I, this round, it has a lot of television shows. I thought that those would be the best things to get. I usually don't buy DVDs unless it is something that is not on Blu-ray and all of these are not on Blu-ray and they really didn't have very many Blu-rays for sale and if they did have them for sale it was only the Blu-ray disc. I'm like super particular so I wouldn't want to buy a DVD Blu-ray combo and only get the Blu-ray because then there would be an empty spot for the DVD and Stuff like that, I don't know, kind of uh, gets under my skin and d I just don't like it. So I didn't really buy any of those. Let's get into the some of the TV shows that I got. So the first one is the complete series of The Comeback. This is a great show. I definitely need to rewatch it because... I love the show, and I was so happy that I found it. They did have the first season only, and then they had this one, which was both of the seasons together. So I decided to pick this one up. It was $8, and I think that it might be out of print because you cannot buy it on Amazon anymore. The second one that I picked up is the Mr. Mercedes Season 2. Uh, I did not get Season 1. They had Season 1, but I figured I'd pick this one up because it came with the slipcover, and I figured that the Season 1 didn't have the slipcover, so I was like, I can probably get that somewhere else and maybe get a slipcover or not. And anyway, I paid $8 for this one as well. This currently goes for about $18 on Amazon, so I got about $10 off. So in the first haul, I picked up the out of print 13 Reasons Why Season 1 DVD, and they had the Season 2, so I picked up Season 2 of it as well, because this is also pretty expensive. Uh, it looks like it's going for about $25 on Amazon. I paid $13 for this. It was more expensive than the first season, but this one's newer, so I think that's probably why. But I, it was still cheaper than if I were to buy it brand new, so I went with this. And the last thing that I picked up is a new movie that came out last year, and I heard a lot of people talking about it as being on like their top list and so I decided to pick it up. It was only $4 so that was pretty cool. It is Spontaneous 
And this doesn't have a Blu-ray release, which was a little kind of interesting. I don't know if maybe they will release it later down the line on Blu-ray. I just watched it today and I really enjoyed it. So I am actually going to be doing a review of this. So definitely be on the lookout for that at some point. But that is it for my family video closing sale haul. And I hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know in the comments down below what you think of what I picked up. And also if you have a family video near you, if you've went and got anything from the sale and what you picked up. So thank you guys for watching. And remember if you're not already subscribed and you'd like to be, please hit that subscribe button down below and give this video a like if you liked it. Thank you guys for watching and have a great day. Bye.